Okay then my friends, so we're subscribing to the Pulse store right here and we're receiving the data from that store and then we're updating our local variable polls to equal that data. And we do this at the start when we first subscribe and also whenever the data in that store changes. Now this is fine, but we do have one small problem and that's that we never unsubscribe from the Pulse store. Now, why does that matter? Well, if we take a look at the project in the browser, at the minute we're showing this poll list component where we subscribe to the store right here, okay? Now, when we move away from that and we go to add new poll, we destroy that old component, this component right here, poll list, because we no longer show it. We take it out of the DOM, the component is destroyed, and we create this one instead. Now, when we move back, we destroy this one and we mount this component again, the poll list instead. If we go away, we destroy that component, okay? And so forth, it keeps on happening. Now, every time we create this component and it's rendered to the DOM again, we are subscribing to the Pulse store. Now, we're never unsubscribing. So every time we go away from that component and then back again, we're subscribing again and again and again. So in the background, we could have three, four, five, six subscriptions simultaneously going on. And that might not be a big problem now, and it might not have any real visible effect right now, but it might cause memory leaks in the future. So it's always a good idea to unsubscribe from a store when it's no longer needed. Now, in our case, that's when the poll list component is destroyed when we switch to the form over here. So we want to unsubscribe from the store when this component is destroyed, right? But how do we do that? To do that, we need to know a little bit about lifecycle hooks. So a component in Svelte goes through several different lifecycle hooks. It has a specific lifecycle. Now, I've just highlighted two of the lifecycle hooks right here, which are probably two of the more common ones, but there are more and you can read about those in the docs. But I just wanted to demo these two for now. So let me uncomment the first one. And this one is on mount. Now, this on mount lifecycle hook happens when the component mounts the DOM. So when it's injected into the DOM. And this is probably a good time to reach out to a database if you need to and get some data. So what happens is we have access to this hook called onMount, which takes a callback function as a parameter. And this function fires when the mount event occurs. OK, so let me just say console.log and I'll say component mounted right there. OK, so if I save this now and go back over here, I'm going to now inspect the element. We seem to have some kind of error and that is onMount is not defined. So in order to use a lifecycle hook, we actually have to import it from Svelte. So at the top, I'm going to say import and we want to import on mount from Svelte. OK, so this imports this hook and now we can use it inside this component. So if I save it now and come over here, we can see the component mounted. If I go away and then come back, we should see that it mounted again. So every time the component comes back to the DOM, it mounted, all right? So that's that first hook. And like I said, that's probably a good time to go out and grab data from a database because then we can inject it into the DOM as well. Now, that's the first one. So let me comment that out. And in fact, we'll keep that there just so we can see it alongside the on destroy one, which is the second one I want to show you. So this on destroy hook, we also have to import as well. So on destroy like so. Have I spelled that correctly? Yep. Now the on destroy hook fires every time the component is removed from the DOM. So that happens when we switch to this in our example because we remove the other component. So I'm going to just log to the console here, console.log, and I'll say component destroyed, right? So if I save this and come over here and go from current polls to a new poll, we see component destroyed, go back, component mounted, then component destroyed, then component mounted, destroyed, and so forth, right? So at this point, this component destroyed, that's where we should unsubscribe from our store. Now, the way we do this is by storing the results of this inside a variable. So I'm going to say const and I'm going to call it unsub and set that equal to this thing right here. 
Now, what this does is subscribe us to the store and fire a callback function every time we get new data so we can constantly listen to that new data, but then it also returns to this variable an unsubscription function. And all we have to do is invoke this function now if we want to unsubscribe from the store. So I'm gonna do this right here, unsub, like so, and save it. And now, every time we move away from the current polls, it's gonna unsubscribe from that store, then resubscribe again when we see that component in the browser, okay? So I hope that all makes sense. Like I said, no visual effect right now, but it is always a good idea to unsubscribe from a store when you no longer need it, when the component is destroyed. Now, all of this looks like a lot of work. In fact, we don't need this anymore. But this right here looks like a lot of work every time we want to subscribe to a store and then unsubscribe from a store. Now, there is an easy way to do this and it's very, very simple indeed, in fact. So we can comment that out and we can comment out the imports at the top because we don't need those hooks anymore. We still have polls right here, the local variable, and we still import poll store. Now, an easy way to subscribe to the data and automatically unsubscribe to the data when the component is destroyed is just to refer to the poll store instead of polls right here. So we'd say down here, dollar sign poll store as poll. And that's all we do. We put a dollar sign in front of the store name that we import and it assumes then that we want to get the data from that store which is the list or the array of polls so this is now the array of polls and we cycle through those as before and refer to each one as a poll so that automatically subscribes us to that data and we no longer even need this thing right here the local variable so we just import the store and we do dollar sign and the store as poll to cycle through those. So this gets us access to the store data and also it automatically unsubscribes us from the store when the component is destroyed. So if I save this, everything should still work. So refresh, everything still works, okay? We still see this poll right here. Now, you might not always use this syntax and you might see other people write it this way, which is why I showed you both ways, but I think going forward, we'll keep it as that.